Sir Handel is very proud of his big, sturdy wheels. They have broad tires and hold well to the rails, but they are unusual. One day, the other engines wouldn't stop teasing him. Look at his steamroller wheels, they joked. Be quiet, snorted Sir Handel. You're jealous. Don't worry, soothed Peter Sam. The engines all teased me about my special funnel until they learned how useful it is. Did you hear that? Huffed Sir Handel. My wheels are special, like Peter Sam's funnel. I can go faster than any of you. Scarloe had a plan to make Sir Handel see sense. With your grand wheels, Sir Handel, said Scarloe, you're just the engine to tackle George. Who's George? That steamroller over there, replied Scarloe. Listen. The steamroller was making rude remarks about the engines. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. Pull them up. Turn them into roads. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. Pull them up. Turn them into roads. Don't worry, said Sir Handel. Leave him to me. I'll send him packing. George will soon get a run for his money. Later that morning, George was at the level crossing. You're Sir Handel, I suppose. Sir Handel was standing no nonsense. And you, I suppose, are George? Yes, I've heard of you. And I've heard of you. You swank around with your steamroller wheels, pretending you're as good as me. Actually, I'm better. Goodbye. <laughs> George chuffered on, fuming. Later that day, Sir Handel brought a special load down after the last train had gone. When he had reached the road, he saw George traveling home. Sir Handel tried to attract his attention. Beep, beep, beep. George took no notice. There was barely room to pass. Sir Handel was cross. Get out of my way, you great clumsy road hog. <laughs> I don't move for imitation steamrollers. You don't know the road. Get out of my way. Then there was trouble. <laughs> ah! cried Sir Handel. That was your fault. No, it wasn't. It was yours. Everyone was arguing about who was to blame. Hello, 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 said a policeman ominously. And what's going on here? This made everyone stop arguing. They set to work clearing up the mess instead. Next day, the workmen put up a fence between the road and the railway. Then they went away, taking George with them. Sir Handel thought he had made George go away. He talked of nothing but steamrollers. Oh dear, whispered Scarloe. He's worse than ever. I'm sorry my plan was no good. Never mind, said Rusty. We'll think of something else. But they had no need to do that. Some boys arrived instead. They pointed to the engine and cried, Look, here's Sir Handel. He tried to race a steamroller, but the steamroller nearly beat him. Sir Handel never mentions steamrollers now.